After the warmth of the King's solar, the turnpike stair felt bone-chillingly cold. Wind's rising, my lady, the sergeant warned Melisandre as he handed John back his weapons. You might want a, a warmer cloak. I have my faith to warm me. The red woman walked beside John down the steps. His grace is growing fond of you. I can tell. He only threatened to behead me twice. Melisandre laughed. It is his silences you should fear, not his words. As they stepped out into the yard, the wind filled John's cloak and sent it flapping against her. The red priestess brushed the black wool aside and slipped her arm through his. It may be that you are not wrong about the wilding king. I shall pray for the Lord of Light to send me guidance. When I gaze into the flames, I can see through stone and earth and find the truth within men's souls. I can speak to kings long dead and children not yet born and watch the years and seasons flicker past until the end of days. Are your fathers never wrong? Never, though we priests are mortal and sometimes err, mistaking this must come for this may come. John could feel her heat, even through his wool and boiled leather. The sight of them arm in arm was drawing curious looks. Oh, they will be whispering in the barracks tonight. If you can truly see the morrow in your flames, tell me when and where the next wiling attack will come. He slipped his arm free. Law sends us what visions he will, but I shall seek for this man, Tormund, in the flames. Melisandre's red lips curled into a smile. I have seen you in my fires, Jon Snow. Is that a threat, my lady? Do you mean to burn me too? You mistake my meaning. She gave him a searching look. I fear that I make you uneasy, Lord Snow. Jon did not deny it. The world is no place for a woman. Oh, you're wrong. I've dreamed of your world, Jon Snow. Great was the law that raised it, and great the spells locked beneath its ice. We walk beneath one of the hinges of the world. Bellisandre gazed up at it, her breath a warm, moist cloud in the air. This is my place, as it is yours, and soon enough you may have grave need of me. Do not refuse my friendship, John. I have seen you in the storm, hard-pressed, with enemies on every side. You have so many enemies. Shall I tell you their names? I know their names. Do not be so certain. The ruby at Melisandre's throat gleamed redly. It is not the foes who curse you to your face that you must fear, but those who smile when you are looking and sharpen their knives when you turn your back. You would do well to keep your wolf close beside you. Ice, I see, and daggers in the dark, blood frozen red and hard, and naked steel. It was very cold. It is always cold on the wall. You think so? I know so, my lady. Then you know nothing, Jon Snow, she whispered.